channel if you are new here my name is ivy and i do videos on fashion lifestyle luxury goods honestly anything that piques my interest thanks so much for tuning in today i have a pretty exciting video i'm gonna be doing a may favorites video which i haven't done in the past so i'm very excited to put together all these little cool things that i've picked up in the last couple months but yeah let's just get right to it and as always please like comment subscribe if you like this type of content and if you don't that's cool too uh you'll see you guys around on youtube <laughs> so first up is this knitted bag that i picked up from a local boutique in santa barbara um i'll make sure to put somewhere here the actual name of the place because i totally forgot but yeah it's just this really cute summer knitted bag i don't have anything like this and when talking to the owner uh, she mentioned that she curates and actually designs a lot of these bags so yeah i just really really love this design it's something i you know don't really have in my closet and as we kind of move forward more to the summer i wanted something that i could take to the beach you know something that could ward off the sand and yeah it's just a fun little cute item and accessory for the summer Next up is another bag that I actually picked up on the same day at Santa Barbara and it is this super cute coach little mini bag. I honestly fell in love with this the first time I saw it. Also my girlfriend was there with me and we were just going around the store and we saw this particular style and we just thought it was so cute. It was on clearance so it was fairly cheap actually like um, I think it was like 50 bucks or something but yeah we got matching little mini bags and we were thinking of bringing this to Cabo when we visited so yeah it's just your very typical sort of little mini bag I mean like it's really really small but you know very useful my iPhone 12 Pro Max fits in here so it's actually not as mini as you think it would be but this, um, I was just really impressed by the quality of the leather and also just this canvas, cloth or cotton type of material. But yeah, it's very, very cute and super handy actually. I've been using it a lot. It's very easy to pick up and also use as a pouch if you wanted to carry it inside a bigger bag. But yeah, very cute. Um, I think they have another color available online. I'll try to link that down below, but um, as far as this particular style, I do know it is sold out online. So lastly for the bags is this denim APC tote bag that I picked up. This is actually something I got when I was in Paris and we had the opportunity to visit the APC surplus store. And honestly, it's just a very typical tote, but I do love this, you know, big letter design and detail. I think that's really cool. It's pretty pretty durable um it is made out of denim and i've been able to use it a couple times i use it a lot when we were in paris and now that we're back in the states i really like taking this with me um, on the go whenever i'm running a couple of errands or maybe going to the beach or something like that it's very useful and it's a good decent size with a pretty long uh, handle drop i find that really useful when it comes to tote bag because i don't like it when it's you know stuck to your armpit or anything like that but yeah i think it was a really great deal Next up is going to be accessories. Um, the first one that I am going to feature is actually something that I just featured in a different video. And it is this Gentle Monster sunglasses. I, you guys already know, I love this brand. I talked about it in a lot more detail in a different video, but here she is again. I really, really love how much use I'm getting out of this. It's actually getting to the point where some of my smaller sunglasses feel a little weird on my face because I've been so used to the huge surface area that these Gentle Monster sunglasses have. But yeah, she's super cute and I hope to have some of the other designs, her sisters, in the near future. Maybe not super near though. But yeah, definitely a favorite of mine for this month. Next up on the accessory side is another pair of sunglasses and these are the crap eyewear sunglasses. If you're not familiar with the brand crap eyewear, they are actually based out of Venice, California, I believe, and they used to have a store there, but um, fortunately it did close down, I think, post 
pandemic but i picked up one of their sunglasses online because i had a code and this is what she looks like very great quality i actually think this is similar in quality to the gentle monster sunglasses just in terms of the build and the kind of material that they use one of the things about crap eyewear is they're known for using bioacetate which i think is some sort of environmentally friendly material because they're based out of venice california a lot of their designs are super funky super cute very california vibes like and honestly this is probably one of the more tame styles that they had on their site i really like it because it has that sort of square like 90s design that is very much trending right now but not too much to the point where it's not really functional as uh, sunglasses anymore and yeah, this specific style is, is called the Super Freak and the actual sizing is 49 to 20, which is pretty small. If you compare that to my other pair, the Gentle Monster one, I think this Gentle Monster is 66, which is pretty huge actually. But yeah, I really, really love the quality and the build of these sunglasses. I think the only thing that I am not the biggest fan of is the lens which I don't even think these ones are polarized. I know there are some other sunglasses on their side that are polarized, but these ones are not. And I can just tell that the lens are not as good as my polarized Ray-Bans or Gentle Monster sunglasses. But overall, they're still super cute and the quality is really, really great for the price. If you're thinking of picking up Y-Cells or Prada or whatever, Honestly, these are probably very similar quality in terms of the build and for an eighth of the price. So definitely check them out. I will probably pick up some other styles in the future, but for now, I really like these just very simple black ones. So for the next category, it's gonna be tech slash travel. And for the tech side, I just really wanted to feature this Apple Watch series 7 that i picked up i do have an apple watch but it is the series 1 i think i've had it for probably eight years now and although it still functions it's definitely very slow um, especially when you consider all the new updates that have happened for the apple watches i think it's really struggling to stay up to date and it just is so much more better than my series 1 i mean it kind of stands to reason because there's been so many iterations of apple watches that have come before and the reason i got this is because i just really wanted something that could replace my old series one and i had been waiting a long time and also this apple watch is a refurbished version so i got it for a lot cheaper than what it's currently selling for right now and also cheaper than the new apple se's and i thought given that it's you know functioning super well and has i think a 90 day guarantee program if like anything happens to it you can get it replaced or get your money back i thought it was a really great deal i think you also still are qualified for three months of apple fitness which is super cool and i can't wait to try that out in the future Okay, last but not least in the tech and travel category, I did want to feature this level 8 aluminum case that I was kindly gifted by the level 8 brand, so thank you so much. This aluminum suitcase is going to come in really handy for my future travel. I'm going to be doing a lot of work and personal trips in the next couple months, so I'm very excited to finally have something as sturdy as an aluminum carry-on. And yeah, I will actually be doing a much more in-depth review of this later. I just wanted to get an idea of the functionality of it first. It's actually not as heavy as I thought it would be. I think it's only about 10 pounds total, which is pretty common for an aluminum carry-on. Yeah, I think there are like the remote ones. There's like a very light version, which is about seven pounds. So yeah, definitely not something you want to take on a very basic economy flight because I think the weight for that is actually pretty low. I don't think they'll let you take anything less than like maybe 13 pounds. So that doesn't give you a lot of allowance in the inside. 
but I think it would be really cool for some of the more international trips for sure maybe the more premium economy kind of flights but yeah I so far really love the design I think it's super cool and it has a lot of very similar functions to the Remova one so I'm very excited to get into the more in-depth review for this luggage yeah so that is it for my May favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will definitely be following up with some additional reviews on some of the products that I featured today. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.